Around the country, an estimated 3 million people are living with epilepsy, including 50,000 here in San Diego County. Dr. Michael Cunningham, Chancellor of the National University System, has experienced the effects of this disorder firsthand. When he was 14, his mother had her first seizure. Teresa Margaret Cunningham. She was a wonderful person. She was my best friend. I guess when I was around 14 years old, she had her first seizure. We were there as a family to support her, but we really didn't have the tools, the resources, or even the knowledge or the education to really know how to support her the way she needed to be supported. There was a stigma about having seizures because seizures, they don't uh, just happen when you want them to happen. Any event, any time of day, uh, unexpectedly a seizure could hit somebody. And it hit my mom pretty hard sometimes. All I could do at the time, all my brothers and sisters and my dad, we just held her hand and helped her through it. She would squeeze my hand really hard when she went through those moments. Today, Dr. Cunningham is honored to support the Epilepsy Foundation of San Diego County, which strives to empower individuals and families affected by epilepsy and seizure disorders through education and services. Two years ago, I was invited to my first uh, Epilepsy Foundation event. But then when I saw these young children up there and I saw the families that were supported, the summer camps that they were sending children to about education, about epilepsy and seizure disorders, not only trying to find a cure and relief, but also how do you support those folks that are affected? I bought in uh, hook, line, and sinker. The foundation is also committed to serving the military community, a mission shared by Dr. Cunningham and the National University System. San Diego is the largest military outpost here in the United States and we have wonderful service folks from all branches right here in San Diego. Many of our service members are coming back uh, with disabilities. Because of head trauma, it causes seizure defects and disorders in many, many military coming home. And now they're faced with this dire uh, situation where they need support and they need community groups and they need uh, focus groups to help get through tomorrow. Thanks to the tireless work of the Epilepsy Foundation and through the support from people like you, more lives are being saved every day. The lives of our friends, family, and community members. It's for them that we are all here tonight. Thank you for all you do to make a difference in their lives.